not, Woods vs. Mickelson has gone from bad to worse. It's hot or not time again as sports males Ian Lady Eamon reveals what's been making him feel warm and what's been leaving him cold this week. Hot Eden Hazard the Chelsea forward is flourishing under the guidance of new coach Maurizio Sarri, and while the Belgian continues to play so well, his persistent talk about his attraction to a move to Real Madrid will remain a sideshow. But if his form drops, the issue will move front and central in the minds of Chelsea fans. Hazard plays for Chelsea. Best he talks only about them, really. Steve Price the Warrington Wolves coach has taken the club to today's Super League grand final in his first season and has a bond with supporters. The Aussies spotted an elderly fan at a bus stop recently and stopped to give him a lift to a home game. He was chuffed as it meant he could get on the beer quicker, said Price. Martin Dubravka Newcastle manager Rafael Benitez does not get to make many transfers, so it's important he gets them right. As he showed with a terrific display at Old Trafford, goalkeeper Dubravka has been a huge hit on Tyneside and cost only £3.6 million to bring in. It comes squeezing transfer funds out of owner Mike Ashley, players like Dubravka are the best bargaining chip Benitez has. Not Mike Mulvey the former Manchester United trainee is coach of Central Coast Mariners in New South Wales and must make the call on world football's most famous trialist. Usain Bolt played up front for the Mariners in a trial yesterday and scored twice. Mulvey will be a brave man to say no now. Tiger and Phil the Las Vegas showdown between the two titans of American golf was a bad idea from the start and gets worse with news that no fans, only VIPs and sponsors, will be allowed on the course. Anybody who wants to watch Woods and Mickelson on TV, meanwhile, faces a $25 pay-per-view charge. No chance I will order that, tweeted world number four Justin Thomas. He will not be alone. Tierney the young Celtic left-back scored an own goal as Scotland lost to Israel in Haifa. Talented and brave, the 21-year-old is often talked about as the next great Scottish footballer and constantly linked with a move to the English Premier League. Just one thought. If he really is that good, why has nobody bought him yet?